Well, investigators tracked down a car here in Spokane that at one point belonged to murder suspect Christopher Wilson. Police believe he owned that car during the time Mackenzie Cowell was murdered. And tonight, investigators believe it could be a key piece of evidence. The arrest of Mackenzie Cowell's alleged murderer has set off a flurry of emotions. So having something like this happen in the valley, it's, you know, it's devastating. And a flood of new tips and leads. And we got a long road ahead. This is just a, a chapter and this arrest, we believe, is going to bring forth more information from people who may know Mr. Wilson and may think back to things that happened around that time. It may even be people in this room. Today, investigators tracked down Christopher Wilson's 1999 black Volkswagen Jetta like this one to an address in Spokane. Wilson sold the car in April to a Spokane man. Investigators impounded the car today and plan to search it next week. They say Wilson may have used the Jetta to move Mackenzie's body from Wenatchee to Crescent Bar, where her body was discovered in February. Due to the sale, it could be difficult to find evidence, but detectives say all they need is one drop of blood. The Washington State Patrol Crime Lab has already linked Wilson's DNA to a piece of duct tape found near Mackenzie's body along the Columbia River. Friends of Mackenzie and Wilson are shocked by the arrest. A lot of confusion. Um, never seen it coming. Never. But through the confusion, investigators hope there will be more answers. Still about Mackenzie Cowell and about our community. We need to continue. It's going to be a long road ahead of us. And detectives from Wenatchee and technicians with the Washington State Patrol Crime Lab will be here next week processing uh, this Jetta. And now once that is done, it could take a couple weeks for the crime lab to analyze what they find. Reporting live, Annie Bishop, KXLY4 HD News.